Today, let's talk about three things you should do when you're dealing with the safe system. For the demonstration purpose, I have created sample scenes in which you can create some object, delete some of them. You can also save them to file and you can restore the states which have been saved. The first thing you should do is to create a shortcut to your persistent data part. In this case, I use this using medium item, open persistent data part. This is where you store your data. You're gonna do that with just one line of code, which is editor utility review and finder, and you're gonna pass the application dot persistent data part. It's gonna take for you like 30 seconds to write those code and save you a bunch of time. Imagine that you go to your teammate's machine and instead of traversing those files to find where to save your data, you can just use the shortcut and it's gonna automatically call and the file is there for you. And that is really good. The second thing that you should do is to create a shortcut for you to clear your own data and you're gonna do that by checking if the save file exists and if, and if it does you can just delete them this is really helpful for you when you're dealing with the saving and loading system for example you want to test if your code is working like what happens if there is no data in your save files is there any strange behavior that happen to user you can do that without manually deleting those files. I can use load here and it's gonna restore the states that I just saved. And what if I go to open persistent part? You can see that my data is saved here. And you can just use this shortcut clear persistent data part. And now when I open it, it's no longer there. Then, I want, if I want to load those files back, I can no longer do that. There you go. The last thing you should do when you're making a set system is to have in a way to reset to your default data. So, how do you do it? It's very simple. You set the default file to your access folder and then you're gonna replace that file to the file at your persistent data part and you're gonna override it so when you run your game you will have your data file as you wish. So let's take a look at the editor. In here I have my sample data file in the resources folder and then when I click this tool Reset data, it will take a copy of this sample data and it's gonna paste to the persistent data part. Let me show you when I run the editor. So, first I will reset data. Then I will spawn the queue based on the data that I just saved. Click load, and there you go. Next, I will modify the data so that it's no longer the same data that I just copy. I will click delete some of that, just create a random some of that, and I will save. Then, when I click the load button, it will stay the same. I click load, and nothing changed because you just saved that stage to your system. Now, I will reset the data back to the sample data. Click tools. Reset data and when hit load, yeah, it's come back to your default data. So, why you should do it? The reason for that is sometimes it's quite difficult or tedious for you to make the data, and sometimes it's just so time consuming. For example, you have to go to a lot of levels to get unspecific items, and then you find out that your item is bugged. Well, and then to recreate the state of your data, all you have to do is just one button to 
load your default data in your resource folder back to the persistent data part and then you can continue testing and debugging your game without wasting so many times playing and try to go to that state again.